Hi everyone, this is Dr. Sarah here and my name's Ranga. Hi! Ah, Ranga and I would like to tell you a story from my book Wildlife Wong and the Orangutan. I'm an orangutan. I know you are. Do you want to tell me what else? I'm an orangutan. Ah, so this story is about my friend Wildlife Wong and the orangutans that he's met. Has he met lots of orangutans? Yes, he certainly has. We're going to tell you a story about one of them. It's a very naughty orangutan, isn't it? Yeah, we're a bit naughty sometimes. Yes, you certainly are. Now, where Wong lives in Sepalot, all the orangutans are free, aren't they? Yes. And all the people are stuck inside. And sometimes on the doors, or all the doors, have locks on them and they have bars so that the orangutans can't get in. That's the way it should be. It's rather like there's a zoo and all the animals are on the outside and the people are inside, isn't it, Ranga? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> okay, should we get started with the story, shall we? Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. So being in charge of an entire rescue center is a big job and Wong works very hard. Sometimes he forgets to go home until late in the afternoon when the sun is setting and the colours in the rainforest have turned from green to orange. I like orange. That's right, you're orange, aren't you? One day, Wong waved to each of his team as they packed up their lunch boxes and said goodnight, but he just needed to finish off writing his emails. Eventually, he turned off the light and he headed for the door. But there was a problem. What's the problem? Well, the metal grate was locked. Standing on the other side of the bars, just like a person visiting the animals in the zoo, was a large orangutan. Uh-oh. Its arm was stretched out and the door key dandled from its hand. What could Wong do? I don't know. What would you do? I don't know. Shall we see what Wong did? Okay. <laughs> First he tried talking nicely to the orangutan, asking for the key back. Did it work? Nope, that didn't work. Next he looked around for something he could stick between the bars to snag the key, but there was nothing around. So that didn't work either? No, it didn't work either. Maybe I could trade the key for food, he thought. Now nah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Wong went back into the office and he went to the kitchen. He opened the fridge, hoping someone had left a nice slice of cake or a juicy mango. I like mango. His heart dropped when he opened the door. The fridge was empty, except for what? Two, shall I show them? Two limes. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. Yes, Wong wasn't sure if it would work. Wong went back to the front door. The orangutan was still there. He held out one of the limes and he tried it to trade. The orangutan took the lime. Oh. It raised it up to sniff, keeping tight hold of the key in the other hand. Looks like Wong's plan hadn't worked, eh? Hey? No, didn't work. Wong held his breath. He had one chance left. Yeah, he's got one more. Gingerly, what's that mean? That means carefully. He stretched his arm out with the last lime on his palm. The other fingers were crossed. <laughs> the orangutan looked at Wong, it looked at the lime, it looked at the other lime, and it looked at the key. For Wong, the seconds felt like minutes. Then the orangutan offered Wong the key, trading it for the lime. <laughs> Wong sighed in relief. Both Wong and the orangutan thought they'd bargained well. As the orangutan climbed a tree with his prize, Wong unlocked the door and went home. What do you reckon? Good story? Yeah, all ends well. That's cool. Did you like it? <laughs> I hope you liked that story. Now that one was from Wildlife Wong and the Orangutan. You can purchase a copy down below, down that way, if you'd like. Each of the Wildlife Wong books have three sections. They have a story, they have information about the animal, orangutans, and they have experiments. The videos for the experiments are down below as well. I hope you enjoy it. Bye! Bye!